friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be checking out some of the funniest test answers. Remember when you could go to school? What comes after 10? Hmm, question mark. Oh, you you know, you write, you write, plus one, nice try. You know, at least they gave it to them. You know, the teachers who don't have all their hair would have been like, no, <gasps> wrong. It's 11. It's opposites time. Opposite of death is live pro noob. <laughs> Wow. Teacher's like, huh? What? No, I really got me thinking who's teaching who. They ain't wrong. Noob really is the opposite of pro. Bob has 36 candy bars. He eats 29. What does he have now? Diabetes. Bob has diabetes. You just don't eat 29 candy bars unless you got a problem. What do you think is the best solution to overpopulation? Support your argument with examples. Corona, the Hunger Games, of course. I mean, the teacher asked. I guess so. Or, you know, y'all can go live in Minnesota or something. How to ask your teacher out. You know, under where you put your name, there's a date. A date? Me, please. Smooth. Now we wait. That's illegal. Do not touch. It's not. It fell from my nose. I do appreciate how Billy circled the snot mark. That was a very considerate thing to do. <laughs> what do you like the most about your t-shirt? Boobs. I, they said the survey would be anonymous. You know, just because there's an opportunity doesn't mean you should, but. <laughs> Plot twist, the teacher is a dude. <laughs> This teacher asks the students, write some things that used to be alive. Toys! Are you sure about this one? So they used to be alive and then what? Their soul dies, leaves their body, and then they become toys. Y'all couldn't have just said dinosaurs. I'm surprised nobody put grandma. <laughs> Another teacher testing their children. Put some F words. Fart! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I like the visual representation. You know, that really, it, it looks how it feels and smells. Can you think of more? <laughs> no, sorry. That's all I got. Fart. Tee hee. Fill in the solutions. You have a problem. You fell on the playground and scratched your knee. Solution. Get up and deal with it because mama ain't raised no bitch. You know, some kids just go hard on the playground. What's a little boo-boo to a six-year-old gangster? You know, at the end of the year, they gave us this survey to rate our school experience. And they asked, what do you dislike about high school? People. Well, that's not a high school problem. That's a world problem, you see. Also, relatable. Extra credit. What is the strongest force on Earth? Love. No, you fool. It's nuclear force. When I'm 100 years old, I will be tired of everything and everyone. So I will tell everyone I'm going to Canada, but actually go to the Bahamas. Smart. I live in a tiny hut with my tiny dog. I will order fish tacos when I'm hungry and live my best life with no crap. Can we get a round of applause for Emma and her tiny dog? This seemed like she had her life all planned out. How are you so ambitious? That actually sounds like a pretty good life plan. No, that's how you get away from everyone in your life. Write as many words with the same pattern. What rhymes with uh? No, no, don't say it. I know what you're thinking. Don't say it. Y'all setting up these kids for disaster. Luck. Buck. Duck. Tuck. Muck. F word. <laughs> you know, this was a test. Which one of y'all kids know the forbidden word? And who's just not gonna say it? This kid's smart. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Your other brothers can't deny. Oh my, please make your sentences appropriate. I do read that. A winky face? You for real right now? That smiley face a little too big. Miss Frizzle getting all flustered reading this. Like, oh, that's the spiciest thing I've read in a hot second. Calm down. Hi, my name's Frankie. I earn money at home. Bye. I don't. I am a freeloader. I mean, you're a child. Children are freeloaders. If y'all ain't doing dishes, y'all ain't working for your rent. Yes. Mommy's favorite freeloader. What are three things you want to do in the future? One, I'ma get a girlfriend. Two, I'ma kiss her. Three, I'ma rule the world. <laughs> this child has ambitions. Man, that's better than me. I would have been like, take a nap, get up. Scavenge for food. Little did I know I would end up making videos. I was never like, I want to be a YouTuber when I grow up. Like, I want to be a nurse, maybe a pharmacist. I want to do something in the medical field. And now we doing this. I can jump, I can run, I can play in the sun, I can swim, I can skate, I can bake a cake. Now what's something that you can do? I can pee. <laughs> and then the teacher 
teacher really wrote a note. Did this really deserve a note to his parents for stating the obvious? I mean, I can pee, we can all pee. Carson and I spoke about this, but I thought it might be a chance for a family discussion on best self at school. And if I was a parent, I'd be like, okay, but what does being able to pee have to do with being your best self? You kind of need to do that to be your best self. I mean, you can't be your best self with an exploded bladder. This kid failed his test, and teacher was like, you know what, we gonna need a parent's signature on this. Okay, you want a parent's signature? I got you. Mom, how you like that? The teacher will never know. You know, I was so nervous doing this throughout school, and not because I got bad grades. My mom worked all the time, and I legitimately forgot to get my thing signed. So I was like, <sighs> sitting there sweating with my pen, like, oh man, I only have one chance to like, scribble and get this right. And like, I put so much effort, it's like practicing my mother's signature when in reality I could just like scribble anything with a pen just make it look fast and neat no teacher is gonna like look at it closely like this isn't Snapper Wolf's mother's signature could she have forged this you see what my hair just did why I look like midnight though it's a look Describe the chemical differences between H2O and CO2. H2O is hot water, CO2 is cold water. Duh! Whoa, I didn't know different temperatures had a chemical difference. Y'all really not be paying attention in school, huh? To change centimeters to meters, you do what? Take out centi. Duh. <laughs> Easy clap. It all makes perfect sense. No math needed. Just take out the word centi. Throw it in the trash where it belongs because we don't use the metric system. Mike saw 17 blue cars and 25 green cars at the toy store. How many cars did he see? Write a number sentence and explain how you got the answer. And little Billy over here, being the genius that he is. 17 plus 25 equals 42. I got the answer by talking in my brain and I agreed of the answer that my brain got. Boom. Logic. You know, that's how it works. Sometimes I just talk to my brain and we come to a conclusion. And that's on thinking. Arctic animal, who am I? I don't know what this is. Perhaps it's a word bank. <laughs> don't you just love going out into the wild and finding a word bank? What's a walrus here? What's a seal? I don't know. Emily was asked to explain her answer, and she was just like, you know what? My brain is always right. Always right, but can't spell always. You know, overconfidence is a flimsy shield. List and describe two evidences for evolution. No, I forgot. I even studied this and I still forgot. He draws a smurf, pointing to a brain. It's his fault! <laughs> the diagram below best illustrates, you know, none of these. This ain't evolution or anything. Giraffes are heartless creatures. They see little homie over here, he a baby. He trying to reach up into the tree neck not long enough. So he dies and they just completely ignore him and continue munching their leaves. Tragic. Spanish class. Use commands to tell your sister to do the following things. And this genius was like, you know what? I don't have a sister. I can't tell her to do these things. Guess I don't have to take this part of the quiz. Not applicable to me. She hit him with a minus seven. Well, Billy, you must pretend you have a sister. Say and write. Cow. Bird. Cat. Dog. Huh? No, this is a duck, not a when Apple autocorrects you in real life. Except it's the other way around. Cause how many people do you know? Ask for the ducking lamb sauce. Briefly explain what hard water is. Ice. Hard water is ice. You know, I gave you five lines to briefly explain. A one word answer, this ain't it. Also hard water ain't ice. Hard water is what you got in your house when you don't got a water softener. Bobby has four dimes and he has 30 pennies. Which child has more money? Bobby. How do you know? Uh, Bobby. Yeah, you know, me and my brain, we talked and we came to this conclusion <laughs> that Amy broke. I would not like to have 100 punches in the nuts. That would not be fun. <laughs> I mean, I unfortunately will never know the pain of punches in the nuts. I like how it's just all one word. Yeah, that's definitely not a good thing to have a lot of. Angry mother on Twitter because they told her child to circle the smallest number and she did the one two three They are clearly the smallest when you got these big mean double digits zero out of three bro This is the whole entire test imagine your test being this easy <laughs> Here is the human brain. How is the brain like a cantaloupe list seven ways? How is a brain like a cantaloupe? It is delicious <laughs>
Well, you know, when I was growing up, my parents actually ate cow brain and would tell me how delicious it was. I've had cantaloupe, but not cow brain. So, I mean, I guess they're correct. There's no arguing with that. <laughs> Number two, it's mushy on the inside. <laughs> It's me, and today we're gonna be checking out some of the funniest kids test answers. If a child swallows a cleaning product, why is milk often given? To make them happy before they die. <laughs> oh, my last glass of milk. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Thanks, mother. I hope it was chalky milk. It make the pain go away. Dear mom, I just got dumped at the dance. Turns out she likes bad boys. Am I a bad boy? I hate girls. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Imagine growing up and then your mom was like, look what you wrote to me when you were like 10 years old. I mean, if you hate girls, you are bad boy. The diagram below best illustrates we got three giraffes. <gasps> One of them can't reach the leaves and falls down and dies, decays, while the other two just dump munch in their grass. You know, it's none of these. Evolution, no. I'm gonna add in my own answer. Giraffes are heartless creatures. How could they? They should have fed the child. Also, we, we only got one eating tree. There's no other food. That little giraffe kind of deserved it. I would have been like <sighs> gnawing at their ankles or something. There were four ghosts, then one ghost flew away. How many ghosts are left? Four minus one equals zero because ghosts are not real. Miss Teacher Lady, how are you gonna bring ghosts into it when I don't even believe in them? Should've used apples or something. My sister's first day of homeschooling. Unscramble each word. Math, bath, den, ben. Rat, cat, hit. The, quit. Cliff, tis, shit. Hey, you can't say that. She said I swear. Y'all be learning some extra vocabulary in the homeschool. Was a mother or father? I mean, to be fair, was she wrong? It does unscramble. There was a picture of this boy, and it was like, this boy is, he ain't sad, he ain't glad, he ugly. Enough is enough, Judy. We don't care how he looks. He just got into a biking accident. And here you are calling him ugly. We know that, but what else is he? At the end of the year, this teacher gave him a survey and was like, one thing I could improve on this year. Less crying. Aw, you know what? Me too. What an improvement. In one word, describe school. Hell in big long text. I mean, what did you want the students to say? Fun. It's either this or stressful, depressing, exhausting. I don't know what you were expecting when you asked it in the first place. Imagine that you lived at the same time as Abraham Lincoln. What would you say to him or ask him? Uh, I would tell him not to go to a play, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Little do you know, Abraham Lincoln, please, no matter what you do, please don't go to the play, you're going to die. And if little Billy had done that, Abraham Lincoln would still have been alive today. How is the brain like a cantaloupe? List seven ways. One, it is delicious. <laughs> Hey, wait, how would you know? Seven ways. I'm trying to figure out what the other six are. It's round, it's squishy, it's textured. It's made up of molecules. It's a fruit, no. It can be eaten. We got cantaloupe for breakfast, zombies got brains for brunch. What is the strongest force on earth? Love. Wrong. B -b 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 but nothing. Love ain't science. Is it gravity? Miranda can't see anything when she looks down her microscope. Suggest one reason why not. She is blind. Uh, the audacity of the teacher to mark this wrong? Nice try, yes ma'am, that was a very nice try. You said one reason and I listed it. And now you saying I got it wrong? Miranda could very well have been blind. Are you saying she's lying? Microscope machine broke. So they ask these kids, what are three things you want to do in the future? One, get a girlfriend. Two, kiss her. Three, rule the world. I think you skipped a few steps. It doesn't go from bam, boom, skirt, like a dictator. Cause I mean, at one point they probably did the first two anyway. <laughs> when I am a hundred years old, I will dead. We got a graveyard drawn by Liam. What a thing to ask a child. What do you expect them to say? I ain't know nobody that lived to be a hundred. So like, I'ma assume I'ma just Ooh. die. Pass away. So Frankie over here is doing his homework. I earn money at home by, I don't. I am a freeloader. I mean, aren't all kids? Like you don't even ask to be here. You don't even ask to be born. So yeah, no shame in being a freeloader, I guess. 
I had seven red grapes, seven purple grapes for lunch. How many grapes did I have in all? Seven plus seven equals 14. I know it, my brain told me. Oh no, sorry. It was actually my brand. My brand told me, like the cereal. This was a breakup note from Rachel to her playground boyfriend. Sean, I am breaking up with you. You have not talked to me since the day that you asked me out. That was three months ago. You need to get it together or you will never get married. And that would be sad. You should get married, just not to me. <laughs> Sean, how you gonna ask her out and then not talk to her for three months? What's up with that? He's like, oh no, I asked off the wrong Rachel. Oh, panic! She said what had to be said. What is the best estimate for the length of a football? It is uh, uh, one football. The funny part is, is that they are absolutely correct. It's about this big. Y'all ever heard of an eight foot football? What do you like most about your teacher? Boobs. <laughs> No! No. Little Billy Diddly did not. You know, of all the things it could have said. Hello class, today we are learning cause and effect. For the cause, Tony practices the piano 20 minutes a day. What will be the effect? He is a big nerd. I don't even know what to say to this, bro. I would have said he would have been a disappointment to his parents because 20 minutes a day ain't enough to learn piano. Name a solid. Poop. Name a liquid. Pee. Name a gas. Fart. <laughs> Perfect explanation for the children. This is the only way they'll understand. You can't even mark him wrong. Name six animals which live specifically in the Arctic. Uh, six, uh, we got two polar bears and uh, three, no, 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 four seals. They definitely got at least four seals there. That's, that's a total of six. This kid is going places. Probably not college, but places. In Spanish class, there was an assignment that was like, use commands to tell your sister to do the following thing. Oh wait, I don't have a sister. I am legally not obligated to answer these questions because I don't have a sister. Can't make me pretend to have a sister. Now can you? Take that minus seven and move on with my life. So these kids presented their parents with a declaration of war. They wrote their parents a little letter. We would like to have some power in this house. Example, control bedtime, how long our walks are, when we get to watch TV. Uh, I think we're asking too much, better, better cross that off. If you do not sign, we will declare war on the parents. Uh, just, just sign here. Nice try, Billy. Smart, but bro, you're like six years old. I ain't falling for it. Your parents lawyers or something? Like they really thought this was is gonna work. I see adults signing things all the time. Why wouldn't it? Find X. What do you mean find X? It's, it's right here. Here it is. It's right there. Do you not see it? I see it. Loud and clear. That was easy. No problem solving necessary. Where was the Declaration of Independence signed? At the bottom. They're not wrong. It was signed at the bottom. You should have specified at what location, Miss Teacher Lady. Fill in the solutions. We got a problem here. You fell on the playground and scraped your knee. Possible solutions. You get up and you deal with it cause mama ain't raised no bit. I mean, they do got a point. I already know somebody in that class was like, go to the nurse's office and quiet, that's for mommy. The difference between 180 and 158 is 22. Explain how you found your answer. Yeah, math, don't worry about it. I hated the, the show your work. Bro, what if I'm just guessing? Hello friends, it's me, and today is another episode of Funny Kids Test Answers. How was the brain like a cantaloupe? List seven ways. Brain like a cantaloupe. Hmm. How was the brain like a cantaloupe? One, it is delicious. <laughs> I mean, some people like to eat brains, and I know some people that have eaten cow brain and said it's mm, 10 out of 10, delicious, but so are cantaloupes. First of all, I wanna know what kind of question is this? Who thought about this, a brain and a cantaloupe? List seven similarities. Like they got so much in common. One is the control center of all living things. One is a mediocre fruit that they got at every buffet. I'm just kidding, I love me some cantaloupe, but honey, do the real money melon. So on this kid's assignment, he got a lot of things wrong. And he knew that. He knew he was gonna get it all wrong. And then tapes a $5 bill. Wink, wink. You know what to do, teacher lady. Don't say I didn't spoil you. There'll be more where that came from. And she's not even gonna take it. You still getting that minus nine. Oof. 
You know, I always thought about this when I was a kid. I'm like, what if you do this? What if you like pay your teacher to like pass you or give you a good grade? Like, can you even do that? How much money would they like need to do that? But I guess it doesn't work. Or would it? Oh, you know what? It only works when the parents do it. When the parents like give the teacher like expensive gifts for like Christmas, Teacher's Day, at the end of the school year. I see you. I didn't know back then, but I know how it works now. And it's like all the kids that would get medals at the end of the year is because their parents paid hella money to the school and they would always volunteer and they would always get the teachers like nice gifts and I'd be sitting there like <laughs> Why don't you love me for who I am? What are three things you want to do in the future? One, get a girlfriend. Two, kiss her. Three, rule the world! <laughs> nice. Get you some goals like these. Actually, don't. Maybe the first two. We love a child with hopes and aspirations. Fill in the solutions. Read each one of the problems and come up with a solution for each one. Problem. You fell on the playground and scratched your knee. Oh no! How traumatizing! Solution. Get up and deal with it. Ooh, I mean that's what you should do. Life gives you scratches on your knees, you get up and deal with it. That's what we used to do. Kids nowadays be like, Scratch my knee! My knee will never be the same. Now I have to go to therapy. I don't think I'll ever be able to fully recover from this. The water of the Earth's oceans stores lots of heat. An engineer designed an ocean that would extract heat from the ocean's water and reject heat to the atmosphere. He thought he had a good idea, but his boss fired him. Explain. Because he slept with his boss's wife. <laughs> Jonathan, oh dear. Jonathan, what have you done? I don't understand the equation, but something definitely must have went on between them for him to just straight up fire him over his good idea. Or maybe his idea wasn't that good. Nah, but I'ma go with B, final answer. He slept with his boss's wife. I can jump, I can run, I can play in the sun, I can swim, I can skate, I can bake a cake. Draw yourself doing your favorite activity. Finish the sentence. I can can pee! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know what? Me too. The teacher did not like his answer. Carson and I spoke about this, but thought it might be a chance for a family discussion on best self at school. Thanks. He got a note from his teacher to his mom for answering the question. Come on, Sarah. Why you gotta be so salty? Everybody pees. Maybe he just enjoys it more than other people. Why y'all gotta call him out like that? Come on. A family discussion? Those are like the worst. Do y'all's parents do that when y'all get in trouble and then y'all sit down and have a family meeting and talk about what you did wrong. That was me literally all the time. I had very bad anger issues growing up, so I mean, I'm better now. It's okay. In one word, describe school. Ha heck, heck. I mean, for real, I think we can all relate. Now you guys, comment below, describe school in one word. So this girl didn't know the answer to a question. She was like, you know what? I got some white out. I'm gonna white out the entire question. Like, it doesn't even exist. And the teacher, she figured it out. You weren't sneaky enough, Jackie. You can't just white out a question you don't wanna answer. <laughs> Oh, but I just did. Boom! Imagine if you could do that to all your problems, though. Just white them out. Never existed. I'm surprised she didn't mark her off. She was just like, you can't do this. They didn't teach me this in teacher school. What do I do? To be fair, that is one smart kid that will probably grow up to be an evil genius, aka me. During what stage do the chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell? <laughs> No way! <laughs> Wrong! Plus zero points. Wow, is this like a new thing? Like instead of doing minus two, it's just plus zero? So the child doesn't feel bad that they got some wrong, it's just they don't get the points? But I guess that's also a legitimate answer. It's a secret. I mean, I don't know the answer. It, it could definitely be a secret. What is the highest frequency noise that a human can register? Mariah Carey. Okay? Yeah, no, I don't think so. There's a kid out there that literally broke glass with his voice. <laughs> Mom, I broke it! I'm sure I could do the same if I really wanted to, but I'm gonna spare your eardrums today. Mike saw 17 blue cars and 25 green cars at the toy store. How many cars did he see? Write a number sentence and explain your answer. 17 plus 25 equals 42. I got the answer by talking in my brain and I agreed of the answer that my brain got. Boom! 
everybody started clapping. I mean, that's exactly how it works, right? Like, I was talking in my brain, in my brain, and we came to the conclusion that we agree on the answer that I got. Makes perfect sense. Okay, I believe you. Some atoms share electrons and become more stable. Describe a situation in which people share something and everyone benefits. Communism. Big yikes, I mean, they ain't wrong, but do they really benefit? I mean, everyone got a job, everyone live in their life, everyone got a house, there's no homeless people. But at what? cost. I mean, this is like the perfect answer. Is there a better answer to this? Comment below, because I can't think of one. Define capital punishment. When you get in trouble for not putting a capital letter at the start of a sentence. <gasps> That's like the worst punishment in America. <laughs> Y'all hear that? If you don't capitalize the first letter of a sentence, you gonna get that capital punishment. Mm. <laughs> That's actually so good. What do we call the science of classifying living things? Racism. I mean, they have a point. Yikes, you're telling me science is racist. What? I'm confuzzled, but also makes perfect sense. What is your favorite hue? Jackman. <laughs> Clever, but still marked it wrong. Bro, your teacher just straight up salty. Like, this was genius. He's just trying to be funny and cute. I usually go mark him wrong. What did Mahatma Gandhi and Genghis Khan have in common? Unusual names. You know what? That's what I always thought about like a lot of celebrities, famous people, whatever. Like, they all have unusual names. Like, name one person in this world named Mahatma Gandhi. Anybody? Excuse me, I had to turn my AC off. Excuse Use you for rudely interrupting my video. Loud ass. Use commands to tell your sister to do the following things in Spanish. Ir a la cocina. I don't have a sister. Damn it, Billy, your hypothetical sister. Everybody got a sister in Spanish class. Dora's your sister now, minus seven points. Ooh. I mean, he could have legit looked at it like, oh, I don't have a sister. I don't have to answer these questions. Makes perfect sense. Circle the organism that would be classified as a plant. We got a ladybug, flower, mushroom, and amoeba. Two of those are plants. Oh no, a mushroom is a fungus. Explain why you chose the organism. Because I am not an idiot. Thank you, it is a flower. Damn, he laid it down like it is. What do you take me for, a fool? I may be six, but I am not an idiot. No, but for real, Though. Who won't look at this and be like, mm, ladybug, definitely a plant. In which state do the particles show the most movement? California. In which state do particles show the least movement? New Jersey. <laughs> I mean, you said which state. I mean, it's still wrong. It's obviously New York. Probably shows the most movement. New Jersey. Not Rhode Island. Not South Dakota. I don't know. They just try to be smart. When Queen Elizabeth I came to the throne, what was the first thing she did? Sat down, duh. It's like, damn, I'm a queen now. First thing I'm gonna do, sit my booty down. I feel like there has never been a question answered so accurately. Miranda can't see anything when she looks down her microscope. So just one reason why not. She's blind, duh. Wrong. Nice try. That was a nice try. That was a very nice try. And I feel like that nice try was so nice, it deserved some points. You said one reason why not. It could most definitely be a reason. Name six animals which live specifically in the Arctic. Two polar bears and three, four seals. Yes, I'll take my A plus now. I mean, can't argue with that. that. That's six animals right there. Two plus four equals six. Nothing you could do about it. Describe two events that are impossible. I will never die. Because heroes, heroes never, never die. die. And I will eat potatoes. I will eat potatoes? That is impossible. I will never eat potatoes. Okay, I mean, if you really dislike potatoes that much, you sure about that, man? I mean, french fries, hash brown, mashed potatoes, Potato? You sure you never want to eat a potato in your life? Oh, impossible. I will eat potato. I, I don't know why I thought I said I will never eat potatoes. I'm like, huh. Okay, yeah, me too. Me too. It's impossible that I will. Wait, I'm so confuzzled right now. I don't even want to do this.